The strangers arrive and offer trade and friendship. The indigenous population responds in kind. Gradually, the strangers begin to take up more and more space and make more and more requests from their hosts, until finally, they are not requesting at all. They are demanding. They are backing their demands with garrisoned outposts. As indigenous peoples around the world have discovered, a deal is not a deal when it comes to settler governments. I have approved pipelines that the previous government wasn't able to do. Indigenous peoples from around the world recognize this process of slow, lawless confiscation of their land with promises made and laws of protection enacted then quickly broken. I want to stress that this is not at all ancient history. My people have been beaten, jailed and shot at by the authorities simply for occupying our own lands. And it is the loss of our land that has been the precise cause of our impoverishment. Indigenous peoples control only 0.2% of the land in Canada, while settler governments claim control over the other 99.8%. With this distribution of land, you don't have to have a doctorate in economics to understand who will be poor and who will be rich, and our poverty is crushing. Our lives are seven years shorter than the lives of non-Indigenous Canadians. Our unemployment rates are four times higher. The resources to educate our children are only a third of what is spent on non-Indigenous Canadian children. Our youth commit suicide at a more than five times higher rate, and we have been living this misery in Canada for 150 years. What has been the response of the Canadian government when we protest the illegal seizures of our lands and the intentional impoverishment of our people? Generally, it has been to simply turn away until our voices become too loud to ignore, then false promises and outright repression come into play. You cannot have reconciliation under the colonial 0.2% Indian Reserve system. It is impossible. The land issue must be addressed before reconciliation can begin. We are talking about fundamental change that recognizes our title to our territories. Because you guys don't have permission to come across here. This is we could go back over there. 2017 marks the fact that we have been officially colonized by Canada for 150 years. Indigenous peoples and Canadians who believe in human rights need to look at Canada's 150th birthday as a period to undertake a commitment to decolonize Canada and recognize the right of Indigenous peoples to self-determination.